After seeing and being part of many discussions online in relation to the CRJ700 and 900's use of a HEPA filter and the CRJ200's lack of use, I thought I would take this time and put my 8.5 plus years of aircraft maintenance experience on these aircraft to use and using some system knowledge explain in depth why the lack of HEPA filter on the CRJ200 does not at all matter. Before we get into how the filters fit into the aircraft system, it is important to understand how the air conditioning system works on the CRJ. The CRJ uses two buildups of a set of components which are known as the air conditioning packs, or packs for short. Much like most commercial aircraft, extremely hot pressurized bleed air is taken from the engine where it is cooled by a series of pre-coolers and heat exchangers that use outside ram air to aid in the cooling. The ram air is passed over the fins of the heat exchanger working much like the radiator of a car before it is ported out of the side of the aircraft. The slightly cooled air in the pack then moves through the air cycle machine and another heat exchanger where the air is further cooled and compressed before being distributed into the cabin and the cockpit of the aircraft. The packs use a series of valves to allow more or less bleed or ram air which allows the pilots to select the temperature of the conditioned air coming out of both packs. Another very important job of the pack system is to pressurize the cabin of the aircraft when it is at altitude in flight. In the separate system, two components known as the outflow valves are automatically opened to variable sizes to let more or less air out of the aircraft to control the internal pressure known as the delta P. Both of the air conditioning system and cabin pressure control will come into play later in this video. So as we mentioned in the intro of the video, the CRJ700 and 900 and its variants such as the CRJ550 do use a HEPA filter. These aircraft have recirculation fans which when selected on, take already conditioned air from the cabin, send it through the recirc fan filters which are located under the cargo floor, and mix it with the air coming from the pack system. Since this recycled air is coming from the cabin, the recirc fans use a HEPA filter. The CRJ100 and 200 do not use a HEPA filter. Now in this day and age of COVID and aircraft sanitizing, this fact may really scare some people and make you think you do not want to fly on a CRJ200. Well, this fact doesn't really matter and here's why. The CRJ200 does not use any type of cabin air recirculation. Because of the outflow valves we discussed earlier, there's a constant flow of air in the cabin. As conditioned air comes through the dado panels at the floor level and through the gaspers above the seats, the old air is routed under the floor and used to cool avionics computers in the compartment below the cabin floor before exiting the aircraft through the outflow valves. So because of this fact, the air in the 200 is constantly being changed and not pumped back into the cabin. Therefore, there is no need for a HEPA filter. Hopefully this technical info helps clear up some questions or fears for anyone that has them.